Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be reviewing Saban's Beetleborgs released by McDonald's in 1997. Let's get them all on camera and begin a review. Number one on the set is Beetlebonder. I know I never grew up watching the show, but I thought that the toys themselves were pretty cool. And I did some research about these. At first I thought that this was some kind of vehicle that the heroes used to travel with, but I realized that this was actually a transformation device that the kids used to transform themselves into Beetleborgs by shouting out Beetle Blast and to cancel Back Blast. So anyway, the only gimmick about this toy is that you press this red button here and the wings themselves pop out. So as you can see, there is an image of our three heroes from the show. I mean, in the center, there is chromium gold, on the right, platinum purple, and on the left, titanium silver. So yeah, this is Beetle Bonder. Next up, number two is Chromium Gold Beetleborg Converge Compact. There are different types of Converge Compacts in the series, but this one here is a medallion or an amulet or a necklace, whatever you want to call this. <laughs> so anyway, I love how it's all designed here. I love on the front, they made it look exactly like from the show. I mean, this is supposed to look like a shiny gold mask and on the back, it's all plain blue. I mean, blue is my favorite color. And when you open this guy up, there is a moving image of chromium gold and titanium silver trying to escape from the explosion. So here, I'm gonna put this a little closer. Pretty cool, huh? This is exactly like from the show, even though I never watched it. And also, to put this on, you take this part off and you put it straight to your neck. I don't know how it'll fit me, but it's gonna look a little silly on me nowadays, now that I'm a little older. And voila, that's how you put it on. So that's all I could say about this. So this is Chromium Gold Beetleborg Converge Compact. Number three is the Hunter Claw. This is the one that I was crazy about when I was a kid because I remember seeing from the commercial when one of the kids used this to grab a french fry whip. And from the television program, this was used to crush most of the enemies. And when the claws were removed, it could act like a boomerang. So anyway, the gimmick about this toy is just like I mentioned from the commercial. It could actually grab things by pressing this. And I don't have a french fry with me, so I'm just going to use this marker as a way to demonstrate to see how it works. So here we go. And this is the way you do it. And also, on the back here, there's a little door opening where you could probably add something that feels precious to you inside. Probably like a ring or a necklace. I don't know if that's true. So anyway, that's all I could say about this. This was Hunter Claw. Number four is the Platinum Purple Beetleborg Covert Compact. This is pretty interesting because when you open this up, you don't see a moving image of a Beetleborg. Instead, you see a moving image of a clown named Flabber, not Flubber, Flabber. And to my opinion, he does look a little bit creepy. I mean, I'm not afraid of clowns, but some of you might be and some of you, well, may not be. And another interesting part is that this is actually a clip. so. You can clip this onto your shirt pocket or pants pocket. I mean, I'm wearing a shirt that has a pocket, so let's see if I can clip this on gently without trying to break this. Yeah, I just want to take care of this toy, well, along with the others. And voila, that's how it works. Number five is the Stinger Drill. I know I never watch a show, but I thought it's actually a cool weapon that the heroes use during the battle scenes, according to the research that I saw on the internet one time. And I love the way it's all designed here. I love the color black and the blue. I mean, blue is my favorite color. So the gimmick about this toy is that when you turn the handle, it's supposed to make that drilling sound, but for some reason, it doesn't seem to make that noise like how it used to. But Hopefully, or probably I'll get a new one. What do you think? So, guess that's about everything I could say about this toy. So, that was Stinger Drill. 
And last but not least, number six is the Titanium Silver Beetleborg Converge Compact. This is pretty awesome. I mean, I love the way it's all designed here, the mask. And when you open this up, there is a moving image of a Beetleborg behind the explosion. Here, let me put this close so you can see. Pretty cool, huh? Awesome. And this is actually a wristband as for the other country, they call it a bracelet. So, I don't know, I'm now that I'm a grown man that my arm is too big, I'm not sure if this will fit well, but you know what, I'll give it a try anyway, just for you guys. So, a second, ah, there we go. This is how you put it on, <laughs> so cool. You know, I feel like a hero in this. If you have kids and ha and you still have those McDonald's Beetleborgs, I'm sure they'll love it. So there we have it, folks. We have the Beetleborgs Metallics, released by McDonald's in 1997. And if you've seen the show before, and if you're a big fan of it, then these toys are recommendable to have in your collection. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.